yesterday I was surfing. There's this one spot like my family always goes to to surf. And we went there yesterday, but there was like a ton of people. I don't know why. So we went to like a little bit to the side, like where there was less people. And my mom, like weeks and weeks ago, surfed there and it stepped on a sea urchin. But I just thought, you know, like my both my parents are going there, like it's fine. Like I'll just like not land hard on the ground like i'll just like jump off like onto my board so i was surfing in this new spot that um had potential danger and i was surfing um all was well caught some great wet right waves and i was catching a wave in to shore because i was done i was hungry we we're gonna leave so i'm riding this wave like all the way in like my mom was further in than me and i was like looking at her like everything was so happy and great and then my board like it was so sh it got so shallow so quickly my board hit a rock i flew off the rock and landed feet first onto a bed of sea urchin oh my god it fucking hurt so badly so like immediately when it happened it didn't hurt and i was like okay like i scratched my foot on like a rock whatever and then the sting like begun to stung paddled over to my mom i was like freaking out obviously and i went right up to her board and had her pull out the ones that she could but because i landed so forcefully onto it they were really deep and she couldn't get some of them out at this point i'm like literally screaming sobbing like i was like hyperventilating i think i was in shock and i was on my board in the ocean still like waiting for my mom to like go to the car and like get some supplies and i literally blacked out a couple times because like everything went blurry we get in the car and um we drive home it's like a 15 minute drive home from the surf spot and i put on my headphones and i was just blasting like hardcore rap music because like i don't know it helps me blasting rap music eating Maui onion potato chips like to distract myself you know because they taste so good and so then i came home and uh, i put my foot in hot water with epsom salt and my mom tried pulling it out she got like a razor and like it just was very uncomfortable and she couldn't get anything out can't put pressure on even like my heel to like limp like i have to solely hop on my left leg and it is so exhausting the current state is there is still probably out 15 spines still very much inside my foot and i cannot get it out because it's not sticking out enough and i read online many different sources say that if you soak it in vinegar literally pulls out the spine and disinfects it and dissolves it i'm praying that that's true i've been soaking my foot for hours and nothing has come out yet so that's not great oh yeah and my freaking surfboard bin is destroyed and um you know like everything's closed except for essential businesses so i'm just hoping this vinegar thing works and hopefully one day i won't have sea urchin spines in my foot hot water oh so it has been two days since i updated you guys on my sea urchin foot it's doing a lot better it hurts a lot less sorry okay yeah i'm outside because i've been cooped up inside i am like still limping like i cannot put any weight on like where the spines are yeah my mom's getting more vinegar because i was using the exact same like container of vinegar like reusing it and it was losing its potency we're redoing this house so like nothing's complete like we have a pile of gravel success i got one of the big ones out it didn't like come out like as one piece like kept on breaking apart so i kept i like used nail clippers and i like so yeah it like came out in little bits like it just it was like dirt so that's my dad doing some yard work if i don't put weight on it like i did my foot isn't tingly or numb it's a lot less swollen like i don't know if i use this um analogy earlier but and i also like don't want to like make this video gross or anything even though it's about my freaking foot um 
but earlier like the past like three days i'm not even kidding my foot like the best way to describe it was it looked like a zombie's like decaying foot like it was like blue slash like yellow and it just like it looked dead like like it was decaying like it wasn't part of a living being so that's pretty gross but um it looks a lot less swollen compared to my other foot ta-da i don't have to use as much because it's just yeah cooking the vinegar <laughs> i'm heating it up all right guys the foot is doing a little bit better, so I came to the beach with my parents because they really like wanted me to. This is where I typically surf, but that is where I freaking got this shit. So um, I have slight PTSD being here. Okay, right here was when I came in on my board and I was like freaking the frick out. Ow. I'm just gonna paddle around and then if I catch a wave, I'll just like hold on to my board and not stand up. I went out in the water, it was pretty chill. My foot was like kind of stinging, but like not that bad. I caught a ride and I like literally just held onto my board. It was so fun. And I rode it like so far in, even though I didn't even stand up because my foot, but it was really fun. Look at these mountains. Oh, it looks like a green screen. It's April 12th and it's been exactly a week since my sea urchin incident. And um, I would say my foot is like 99% healed. I've gone surfing now twice and I kind of have to like get on my knees first and then stand up because I can't put all my pressure on this foot. The spines are still in my foot. Yeah, so they're still in my foot, but it's fine. It's kind of like a splinter that you just never take out, you know? I'm sure it'll come out eventually. I don't really know like when or how. I have no idea if this was entertaining or not. Please comment below some video ideas, like what you guys want to see. Uh, I mean, quarantine, so we have limited options, but still, I'm gonna try to produce some entertaining videos for you guys. So yeah, the moral of the story is don't surf where you know there's potential danger of like sea urchins and stuff, and don't ride in straight on a wave and be cautious of the ocean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're not too grossed out. I initially was gonna put like pictures of my foot so you guys could like see it for reference. Then I was like, no one wants to see my disgusting foot. Like I cannot put this on the internet. So if you're really curious what my foot looks like, just look up on Google sea urchin in foot and then that's what it looks like. I hate outros.